Let's start with uh, the obvious. How does each team win tonight here in the national title game? Uh, It's a tough question to answer because I think a lot of people have doubted this Washington Huskies team and their ability to continue to not only beat top-ranked teams, I mean, just go back to the Pac-12 championship game, look at the line of that game, but I think Michael Penix play. And just since he has arrived in Seattle for the Huskies, the way he has played, the ridiculous accuracy down the field, throw after throw, and I know they've got a lot of talented wide receivers, but he's putting the ball in spots where only those guys can get in the defense camp. And I think people keep waiting for it to run out or for it to stop or maybe for them to have a game that looks similar to the Arizona State game where they, mm. they got held out of the end zone. It was all field goals. But I, I don't know that's going to happen. I, I kind of get those, like, Joe Burrow vibes from the LSU season um, where they just were unstoppable offensively and the defense was good enough. And maybe that's all Washington has to be. But the one thing you can't measure, Dan – and this is where I kind of got fooled, too, in, in, in looking at that Bama-Michigan matchup is just the physicality that Michigan plays with and the tone they set early on in games. Have the big plays, you can have the change of momentum, you can have anything you want, but it still comes down to the trenches, and Michigan tries to establish that right out the gate in every game they play, and they've been really successful doing so. And so that's kind of one of those deals you can't measure. And just the fact that, like, Michigan's now a change-up in college football. You heard Nick Saban talk about the challenge of going against a team that huddles where you might know their personnel grouping, but you don't know their formation. And, and you really have to make a call and then stick with that call because you don't have the ability to change as compared to when you go against a no-huddle group that's at the line of scrimmage and you can make a change of call when they make a change of call or they do something. Sometimes there's time to do that. You don't have that versus Michigan offensively. And just the last thing is the personnel groupings. Not many people run out there with two tight end, three tight end, two running back, two tight end sets, and just want to pound away with the football and then build in some pass plays and things off of that. And I think it's tough to prepare for because most college rosters aren't built that way, and Michigan's unique in that sense. So I think this is one in where something's got to give, and and I don't think it's going to be Michigan. It just feels like this is that year Mm. where Michigan finds a way of winning a tight, close game but it should be a ton of fun to watch.